Uh, you were talking to us about concerns about what is going to be the condition of your house. What are your concerns post the 28th? So despite the amount of precautions that we're taking, we're putting up car cardboard boxes and bubble wraps and a lot of tapes and all to uh, prevent the dust from entering the house. But we don't really know the amount of pollution that will be caused post the explosion because it's a huge building as you can see. Sure. And um, Supertech against it and even ATS uh, is also against it. So we don't really know the amount of debris residue that will be left behind post the explosion. So that is kind of a major concern as of now and uh, taking precautions and all the uh, solutions that we have as of now is there we're on it we're doing everything but uh, certain things are uh, definitely not um, you know guaranteed to key uh, we won't be uh, there won't be dust anywhere there won't be cracks of glasses uh, all of that is pretty uncertain as of now what are the concerns that you have and what happens post 28 uh, post 28, there are quite concerns. One, pollution is a major concern. Secondly, how much dust I'll have in my house because we li we both are living in Esther 2 and this is the closest to this building. And thirdly, my son is in 12. His exams are, his Haveli exams are coming over. So for his studies, how much safe is it? My daughter is a bit asthmatic and she's flying to UK on 20th of September. All things are done. If it is safe to keep her here or should I shift her somewhere else? So these all are things and plus in which condition I'll get my home back. Sure. What like, are the kind of precautions that you've taken? So um, certain wall hangings that were there like chandeliers, photo frames, all are kept down. Then the TVs, all the electrical connections need to be taken, plugged out. Um, fridge and everything needs to be, especially electronics that need to be de-plugged and the mains need to be switched off. That is uh, which will be what will happen on the 28th. But as of now, we're taking out the wall hanging, chandeliers. Uh, but the main concern is because Supertech has all its windows and the doors are made of glass. So that is the main concern to what amount the cracks will be hap happening and uh, what what level of will be the cracks there because they're telling us that uh, the grass the glasses will only crack they won't shatter or anything but we're not really uh, sure about what will happen nobody can take the guarantee of that so that is kind of uncertain so uh, probably the main apprehension is because there's a lot of uncertainty and there's that is creating a bit of a paranoia between the residents Absolutely. So, uh, but I'm speaking of myself, I'm not a bit, I'm not that paranoid or apprehensive because first of all, it's a good thing that it's happening uh, after all, it was long due okay. and um, definitely it is a big, big news, but um, we're definitely taking all the precautions and what all is needed for us to take, uh, keeping all the important things aside and taking out the wall hangings. As of now, that is all the that are all the precautions that we're taking.